Today we are going to be learning about triad chords on the piano. So the very first thing we need to ask is what is a triad chord? So a triad chord is a three note chord that has two pairs of thirds. Now in just a moment we're going to turn to the piano and I'm going to show you exactly what that means. But that is really all you need to know to know how to make a triad chord is that there are three notes and those Three notes are made up of two pairs of thirds. So today we're going to be talking about three different types of triad chords, and then we're gonna go over the C major scale and talk about the different triad chords that are built on each note of the C major scale. So today the three different types of triad chords that we are going to go over are the major triad chord, the minor triad chord, and the diminished triad chord. Now, once you understand that a triad chord is made up of two pairs of thirds, it's very easy to understand the difference between the major, the minor, and the diminished triad chords. So in the major triad, you have your two pairs of thirds. It just means that they are three notes apart from each other. So the bottom third is a major third, and the top third is a minor third. And those two thirds together make up the major triad chord. Now in our second type of chord, the minor triad chord, the bottom is a minor third, and the top is a major third. Those two triads together make up the minor triad chord. And then finally, our diminished chord has our two pairs of thirds, and both of the thirds are minor. So it's two minor thirds together stacked on top of each other that make up the diminished chord. All right, and finally, let's talk about what the difference between a major third and a minor third is, and then we're going to turn to the piano and I'll show you all of this on the keyboard. So a major third is when you move up four half steps from one note to another. And again, I'll demonstrate this on the piano in just a moment. A minor third is when you move up three half steps from a note to another note. That would be a minor third. So first of all, let's talk about the major third and the minor third. So if we're moving from, let's just say a C, so middle C is right here and then we would step up four half steps to find the major third. So that would be one, two, three, four, and you're at E. So C and E are a major third. Now let's talk about what a minor third is. So a minor third, we would only step up three half steps instead of four. Here's C, and then we'll step up three half steps. One, two, three. We're on E flat now, so C and E flat would be a minor third. Now this can work from any note. So we could do a major, now we could figure out what a major triad is from any note on the keyboard, just counting up four half steps. So let's choose a random note. Let's actually take a B flat this time. So we're going to count up four half steps to find the major third. One, two, three, four. So we're on D, so B flat and D make up a major third. Now let's find a minor third from B flat. Here's B flat, and we're gonna count up three half steps. One, two, three. So B flat and D flat make up a minor third. Now that you are familiar with how to build a major third and a minor third, now we can talk about the triad chords. So first of all, let's build a major triad chord. So as we discussed before, a major triad chord is made up of two pairs of thirds, and the bottom third is a major third, and the top third is a minor third. So we are going to demonstrate from C again. So here's our first note. Now we're going to count up four half steps to find our major third. One, two, three, four. So C and E. Now from E, we're going to find what is a minor third above the E. So we will count up three half steps. One, two, three. So E and G, that is a minor third on the top, and then on the bottom, C and E is a major third. When we put this together, that is a major triad chord. So now let's work out how to find a minor triad chord. So remember from what we talked about before, a minor triad chord is made up of 
on the bottom a minor third and then on the top a major third so again we're going to build from the note C here we have C and then we'll count up three half steps to find the minor third one two three so C to E flat that's a minor third now we're going to find the major third to complete our minor triad chord okay so from E flat we will count up four half steps one two three four so C E flat G and there we have it a minor triad chord finally we'll talk about now how to build a diminished triad chord so remember a diminished chord is two minor thirds that are stacked on top of each other so first starting from C we are going to find our first minor third so we'll count up three half steps one two three so there's our first minor third now we need another minor third so from E flat we're gonna count one two three and this makes up our diminished triad chord all right so we have covered how to build all three of the types of triad chords that we're going over today the major triad chord the minor triad chord and the diminished triad chord now we're going to look at the scale of C major and we are going to build a triad chord on each note of the C major scale so remember that when you're playing an octave scale you have eight notes total you start with C and then D E and then we end with C. Now as you notice, and as you may already know, the key of C major has no sharps and no flats. It's all just the white keys. If you need a little refresher on the major keys, I have a whole video going over the circle of fifths and all of the major keys, and you can learn more about each of those keys and how many sharps and how many flats are in each one of those keys by watching that video. So I will link that for you up here. Whenever you're trying to find the triad chords in any major key, you can take the eight note scale in that key and these numbers here are standing for the notes of the major key scale. So note number one in the key of C major would be C, note number two is D, note number three is E, note number four is F, and so on. Above this, I've written on each note of the major scale what kind of chord is going to be used for that so this is all based around how many sharps and how many flats are in that major key and that is what determines whether you are going to be using a major chord or a minor chord or a diminished chord in a major key on the first note you would be doing a major chord then second note would be a minor chord then a minor chord then a major chord then another major chord on five. On six, you would be doing a minor chord. On seven, this little circle in music stands for diminished. So if you ever see that, that's what that means. So on the seven note, you're going to use a diminished chord. And then finally, on the eighth note, you're back to your original note. So you're doing that major chord again. What's great about knowing these and memorizing this is that once you really know this and you know how to play the major, minor, and diminished triad chords, you now know how to play the triad chords in any of the major keys. And that is going to expand your musicianship so much to be able to play along with other musicians or write your own songs or just improvise and just play by ear. This is going to help you immensely. Note number one of our C major scale is C. So this is a major triad chord. So let's build our major triad chord. Here's our first note. We're going to do the major third one two three four notes up and then a minor third on top of that one two three so we've got c e g and there is our c major triad chord now moving on to note two of the c major scale so here's note number one note number two is d the second triad chord is a minor triad chord one two three and then one two three D, F, A, and that is a minor triad chord. Now moving on to the third note of the C major scale, E, again we have a minor triad chord on three. One, two, three for a minor third, 
and then four half steps up for a major third. One, two, three, four. E, G, B. And that is the minor triad chord for E. Now moving on to the fourth note of the C major scale, which is F. Here we have a major chord. So the four chord is a major four chord in major key. So we're going to do a major third, one, two, three, four, and then a minor third, one, two, three, F, A, C. Now moving on to the fifth note of the C major scale, which is G. Here we have a major triad chord again. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. G, B, D, and then together. And that's your G major triad chord. Now moving on to the sixth note of the major scale, A. Here we have a minor triad chord. One, two, three. So there's your minor triad and now a major triad. One, two, three, four. A, C, E. Now the seven note of the C major scale is B. So this is going to be a diminished chord. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. B, D, F. And finally, we're back around to note number eight, which is our original note, C. And we finish off with the C major triad chord. C, E, G. One, two, three, C, E, G. So there you have it. The three different types of triad chords that we went over today, major, minor, and diminished triad chords, and then how to find the correct triad chords for any major key eight note scale. I hope that was very helpful for you all today. If there was something specific that especially helped you, I would love to hear in the comments below. You can go ahead and drop a comment and let me know. If you enjoyed this video today, go ahead and press that like button down below. Thank you guys for watching today. I'll see you in the next video.